Sharon, also known as Vivid Days. Hope the lighting is okay for you because it is turning into evening. I uh, should have done it earlier with the sunlight, but first day of work, so I had to get my priorities. I'm going to try something really different tonight, so this is either going to fail or successful. But again, as I've said before, I'm going to learn along the way, so I'm going to attempt to make a little bit of jewellery. And I got this for Valentine's Day uh, as a little extra gift, and it's a mould circular. And I'm hoping that I might be able to make a piece of art that will hang in windows and be semi-translucent. So again, that's either going to work or not. Um, but my jewellery's down here, not too sure if you'll see all the different moulds I'm trying. Uh, they were Christmas presents for me, a little selection for me to have a go and experiment. I am using Mastercast one, uh, the one plus one and I'm going to use a lot of different colours. Um, it's been hard for me to work out what volume I'd need of resins. I'm wanting to have about half a centimetre's depth in here and these are not really going to take much so I'm either going to have a lot left or not enough. But we'll learn as we go. And I have a very big selection of colours because you should know me by now. <laughs> I over over commit with colours currently stirring this for three minutes uh, I'm thinking of doing like my ocean colour theme in here um, but we'll see how it goes I'm just going to probably put a, a base of clear and then just add the colours and let them merge um, I'm just going to work out how I can get it into my mould without making too much of a mess uh, and see which works bold colours, clear with a little bit of colour added see if it sets level because I've noticed some of these like this are not quite flat uh, so wondering how that's going to fall I've got my gloves on double gloves and because I'm going to be working with inks and perlex powders I have got my respirator on for when I start mixing that that's my time is my three minutes gone I just need to stop that um, yeah so it's a Saturday evening I've had one day off work which has been nice but catching up on chore spending time with my partner Neil uh, now time to relax a little bit and have a go in the little studio there is a lot of bubbles in here but the consistency has gone really nice it's all clear and I'm hoping that through this process I will get rid of these bubbles I'm going to use a little tray mould never used that before I have ordered some spray put in there so apparently it makes the resin come out easier but not 100% sure got lots of different shapes to try and who knows that might be a winner a little little side project anyway I best remember to get on with this because there is only a little bit of time left so let me start moving some I will try and bring my clothes over here but I'll fast forward this bit so uh, as I'm adding my resin you get the drift I'll be back. And in my clear red in here. Let that all level itself out. I may not have Think, yeah next time I've definitely less powder 
because um, when you're working with the jewellery, you do only need little bits. I used to work on bigger quantities for when I'm working on the paintings. these colours back out of the way so I've got a clean workstation my blood tie but try not to stress out alright let's see how I'm going to do this so to start with I'm going to work Trip. No preset idea other than the colours. Get the heat good on it, let them blend together, do their own thing. And again, this is total experiment. I don't even know if this is going to work, set, or like it. But I will make sure I do come back and show you. Uh, what it sets, whether it's good or bad. Oh, that was a peacock. Alright, let's heat it up and see what the resin wants to do, and hopefully. There are going to be some clear bits of it. Ready to start with? What's going to be the best way to get my moulds just with a stick and be patient? This one's in shot for you. I don't want to get resin over the edge. It is self leveling, but it does worry me that this is. So let's see how that goes.
too much showing. Take your time. So we might be able to wipe the resin out with ours. That's what we might do. Get some alcohol wipes and see if I can rescue it.
Hello, welcome back. You're with Sharon from Vivid Days. As promised, I'm just going to show you the work that I completed the other night, the end result. It's been two days, so it's all cured and set and hardened. Overall, very happy with the results and lots of learns along the way. So this is how my uh, round piece finished. The great thing about this is you can appreciate the colours in here and it can be freestanding in a stand. Uh, I am considering applying some kind of way of hanging it on the wall but when you do hold it up in a window you do get to see or appreciate the different colours and that coming through so it's got a slight translucentness but not as much as I originally hoped so next time I would love to look at getting some very blank spaces in between where you just see the pure resin and then some of this mixed into it but overall really really happy with the end result on this and uh, hopefully you appreciate learning as you go um, there were some things along the way that I have learnt that was the back Oops, excuse the Bessie Black Garden but although um, the back still has some neat things happening with cells and colours and textures I don't think it's personally as pleasing on the eye as the front so the learns for me is when I am applying the resin and working bottom up take as much time at the bottom as you were uh, lure it so hopefully you will get a piece that from the back and from the front uh, fairly similar to each other but still have different perspectives I'll take you now to have a look at some of my art it's on my lazy Susan with one of my artworks behind it but hopefully you get to see uh, the end results and some of the things I'm happy about. Uh, you can't really do justice with the shines that you do get on some of this unless you've got direct sunlight. They've got like little glittery pieces in there that shimmer in the sun or different light as it captures it. Really pleased with how they turned out. Learns along the way. Uh, love again a lot of the effects that's been created and overall I think everyone's been a success with some learns there's some beautiful cool little jigsaw pieces can be used for key rings or you can make them into jewelry what I uh, learned along that if you can see the bubble so taking the time to make sure bubbles have popped underneath and applying it slowly and being happy with that still a little cutie one of my favourites, the red with the blue that's been added. Some really cool effects at the front. At the back though, it has stayed a true red. Let's just wipe off that little bit there. So, and again, a few little bubbles. Overall though, still really love that. But you can see there's a little indent around where I didn't raise my resin enough. What I can do though is go back and apply clear resin just to create that dome effect underneath and remove those smooth edges. Do love the um, majority of them. I mean, I would definitely wear them. But do think about how you apply the bottom to the top. Probably go with less colour mixtures to start with and get a couple really right. The key rings, really, really happy with that effect. It's got a nice little shimmer. But at the back, I ended up with just the solid colour. And although I think it's still quite pretty, it's not really the same effect as the front. So I'm going to go back and test a few more today and try doing the detail that I've got on the top at the back. And I think I will only capture that by working on a few colours, taking my time and really trying to get the effects rather than just the solid uh, mass at the back. Loved working with these silver molds that I got bought for Christmas. The resins laid in there really nicely, no hard edges. You're capturing a nice shimmer and there's some beautiful details on the back. One of my favourites, this blue has a beautiful shimmer to it, slight purple as well. You can, there's faint marks of where you can see the resins being poured. We're getting some nice features at the back. This little gold one also impressed me. This was actually the yellow I used with a little bit of the copper added into it and it's just created this really nice effect. 
so overall really impressed i'd definitely wear all these it is fashion jewelry by no means am i going to become a full-on jewelry maker but when i am selling some of my work um, i've got original oil paintings i'll have resins i'll have prints and then there'll be some nice little choices for people to pick up that just love that bold color resin and um, whether they be key rings jewelry or bracelets but i'll keep sharing this red is beautiful sometimes it's very hard just to get solid colors out there and they can just look spectacular with some outfits and they just pop so these are where i believe have been successes definitely thinking of going and adding a slight bit of resin on top of them not a lot of work needed afterwards to uh, get these to be able to be sold this has a edge all the way around i have been reading up on that and it is something that can be rectified you just need to in water use some sandpaper uh, and i believe it's going to be sanding uh, taking it gently going a few times and then i should get that nice round edge but some of the effects in this are just gorgeous and I am thinking of applying these colours onto a canvas board as well. But I will continue to make a few of these. I do love the fact that they are freestanding. Ideally, they might be beautiful for windows or anywhere where you've got light coming in so you see those different textures. But it's just a different way of appreciating art and I will just try and take my time along the bottom and I will definitely share successes with you. Uh, that's what this is all about this youtube showing other people giving them confidence and learning together the molds that we used this was a cake one uh, that was bought as an additional gift and it came out really easily created that edge but we've talked about that and that's easy to resolve well, most of that resin is just going to pop out just need to take some time to get some alcohol wax and wash it out i have ordered some spray though which is supposed to help resin come out of molds easier and this jewelry one they just all popped out really easily very little left on there to clean up so it's a thumbs up from me and i would encourage you to experiment and as i finish sanding this i'll show you the end results and tell you any successes i have when i get my jewelry finished or my keyrings finished i'll show you what they look like and i'm ready to present and i'll continue to share my journey but hopefully you got something from this have a wonderful day if you do like sharing art Thumbs up, subscribe and leave any comments. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.